So the first step is to go to this site right here. And then you need to click get the voice kit SD image. Once you click that, it, it'll um, do start downloading the image. And once it's downloaded, you need to use a card writing utility such as etcher.io or Win32 Disk Imager to write the image to an SD card, which we will later put into the Raspberry Pi. So I now have the SD card prepared and now it's time for the second step. So right now I have already prepared this Raspberry Pi. So we need to insert these two standoffs um, on the other side from the 40 GPIO pins like so. So you just, um, they're, they can go both ways and you just stick them into those two yellow holes. So then let's just leave that here and then I also have this, um, the voice hat board that was included with the kit, and we just need to put this on top of this board. So now it's time for the speaker installation. So first we need to unscrew both of these um, screws right up here on the voice hat board. And so now, um, we need to keep the um, pie and the voice hat board um, angled like this. So the, um, the black wire will go to the right. So right here. And the black wire goes inside this one. And then now we need to screw it in. So. We need to pull it and it doesn't come out. So then now we need to do the same for the red one. So, now that we've already unscrewed that, we just put that in the tiny hole that, that's right there. And then, once we've done that, we just uh, screw it in. Okay. And then again, we gently tug on the wire and as you can see I did not do a good job on this wire so it came out so I need to unscrew it again and do the same thing so hopefully you get it right on the first time but sometimes it may take more than one attempt so now we put that in there and we tighten it so we make sure it's all the way in. So now that's completely tightened, we're gonna give it a gent gentle pull and none of these come out. So that's the end of the speaker installation. Now we're going to be on to the next step. So now it's time for the microphone and button installation. So um, first of all, we need to do this button wire so the button wire, we can distinguish that from the microphone cable because it has four separate ends. Now we need to um, stick this in to the um, smaller port on the voice hat board. And 
let's do that. Okay, now that we have that in place, it is now time for the microphone installation. So we need this cable right here. It is a little larger than the um, the button cable that we have right here. So therefore it goes into the bigger port and so now we have the microphone right here. So let's pull this out of its bag and then we need to plug this end into here just like that, I believe. Wait a second, I think it's the other way. Yep. And then now we um, put this end into this slot right here. So. So that um, ends our micro, uh, microphone installation. The first part of the box, so let's open that up like this. So where it says fold one, we need to fold that one in first. And then we need to do the same with fold two. And fold three. And at the end, we need to um, go to fold four and tuck it under fold one. So now we can set this aside and go to the next portion. It is now time for the second part of the folding. I will fast forward through this setup. For step-by-step -step instructions, you can go to AIYprojectswithgoogle.com slash uh, voice dash v1 for um to do it step by step but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to fast forward through it Since I was having trouble with the um, Raspberry Pi's um, box on, I would I removed the case and then now I'm going to plug it in and let's see how it works. So we plugged it. Uh, so I plugged it in, and it's showing the regular boot up screen. Let's wait for it to go to the desktop. So here is the desktop, so we just need to, um, right now we just need to click OK and Next. So um, just these two, whatever um, country you are in, but for right now I'm in the United States and time zone is Chicago. So click Next. So we just want to come here and click next. So then now we have to connect it to Wi-Fi. So let's wait for it to search for the network and then I'm going to come right back after I connect. So the next menu that pops up uh, says check for updates, press next to check if Raspbian is up to date. So I'm just going to click next here. So there is an update, so I need to go and install it, and it is currently installing right now. So now the updates have downloaded, and we just need to click reboot, so the Pi reboots. So now the Raspberry Pi is rebooted, so now we have to click um, check Wi-Fi to make sure our Wi-Fi works. 
and it says Wi-Fi seems to be working so that's good press enter to close and then you need to click check audio front center so we heard the audio so we can click Y and then once we click enter we have to um, say a phrase and then um, the microphone will pick it up so testing one two three testing one two three so I've heard the audio so um, the audio is good too click Y and enter. so to make this um, Raspberry Pi work as a Google Assistant we need to use Google Cloud Platform enabled and enable the Google Assistant API so we just need to click select project new project and then let's um, name it um, Google Assistant. So then um, you just need to click create. And it says this project is being created. So this project is now created, so I just need to uh, click on it. Now you have to just go here, um, go uh, to APIs and services and click library. Then um, in the search, we just need to uh, go type in Google Assistant. And then we just need to come here and click enable. So right there it says API enabled. So now we need to go back up here. We need to go over APIs and services and then credentials. Okay, so we need to click create credentials and then we need to click zero, um, OAuth client ID. So here is a file we just downloaded. So the first step to do is um, to rename this file to assistant.json. And now we need to move it to the home uh, pi directory. So here it is. Now we have to go to the activity settings for the Google account. Right here we need to make sure web and act activity is on. Device information, voice and, and voice and audio activity is on. We need to make sure these three uh, settings are on to make sure the Google Assistant API will work. So now we have to go to the um, desktop and then click start dev terminal. Now we need to paste um, this command in if you want um, the um, Raspberry Pi to act as like a Google Home and you need to enter this command in if you like want to use it like an arcade button but it will not support the the OK Google or Hey Google hot word detection so 
I'm, I'm going to paste in this one right now into the dev terminal. So now I can say, okay, Google, what's the weather outside? Currently in Aurora, it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Today, so it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 86 and a low of 67. So now it responds to me and it works now. So the project is done.